After decades of grumbling engines and battlefield heroics, the A-10 Warthog has officially leveled up from your granddad's tank killer to a modern-day stealthy, supersonic sky monster. Long speculated and finally unveiled, NASA's radical redesign of the A-10 blends the old-school toughness of the original with cutting-edge speed, silence, and stealth. It's stronger, sleeker, and surprisingly quieter, like the military version of an introvert who can throw a punch. And while some might have thought the A-10 was heading for retirement, it's now more ready than ever to rock the battlefield. Origins of a Legend The A-10 Thunderbolt II, lovingly nicknamed the Warthog, was never designed to win beauty pageants. In fact, if fighter jets had a high school yearbook, the A-10 would definitely be voted most likely to punch a tank in the face. Built in the 1970s by Fairchild Republic, this aircraft was all about one mission, saving ground troops and eliminating enemy armor. Its crown jewel, the gun, aircraft, Unit 8A Avenger, a 30mm rotary cannon so massive and menacing, it makes a chainsaw look like a butter knife. The engineers basically said, let's build a flying gun and slap some wings on it. The result? A flying fortress that carries a cannon bigger than most compact cars. To protect the brave pilot who rides this flying thunder stick into battle, the cockpit is encased in over half a ton of titanium. That's right 1,200 pounds of armor, lovingly referred to as the bathtub of doom. It's not sleek, it's not stealthy, but it is tougher than a $2 steak and meaner than your neighbor's chihuahua with a bad attitude. The A-10's dirty work. While most modern jets are flying high at breakneck speeds, the A-10 prefers to get low, dirty, and up close with the battlefield. It doesn't care about altitude records or looking fancy on a runway, it's too busy being the ultimate guardian angel for troops on the ground. This beast flies just above the treetops, watching the action unfold like a hawk with a grudge. When enemy tanks show up uninvited, the Warthog drops in like an angry UPS driver with explosive packages. It doesn't just drop bombs, it delivers justice. And because it can land and take off from short, rough, and downright ugly airstrips, it's basically the off-road pickup truck of military aviation. Muddy field? No problem. Cracked tarmac? Bring it on. It's like the Chuck Norris of airplanes, simple, direct, and wildly effective. While other aircrafts bring flash, the A-10 brings the boom on time and with precision. If war was a rock concert, the Warthog wouldn't be the lead singer. It'd be the guy backstage making sure the speakers don't explode and occasionally tackling a tank mid-song. Battle damage? Just a flesh wound. The A-10 wasn't just built to survive a tough mission, it was built to survive every mission, even the kind that make Hollywood action heroes look underprepared. This jet is so tough it practically sneers at incoming fire. Hit it with armor-piercing rounds, it keeps flying. Blow out one engine, it shrugs and keeps going light. Who needs symmetry anyway? Lose both hydraulic systems. Not a problem, it switches to a backup mode called manual reversion, which is basically flying using mechanical cables and sheer willpower. It's like flying a Boeing 747 using a couple of coat hangers and a prayer. And it actually works. One of the most legendary testaments to the Warthog's resilience came during the Iraq War in 2003. Captain Kim Campbell's A-10 got absolutely shredded by enemy fire hydraulics gone, one engine toast, and more holes in the fuselage than a Swiss cheese convention. But thanks to the A-10's old-school engineering and her nerves of steel, she flew that beast home manually. No fancy computer, no magic button just stick, rudder, muscle, and more guts than a horror movie. The A-10 doesn't just take hits it laughs in bullet. The cannon that sounds like thunder, because it is. Now let's get to the A-10's showstopper, the gun, aircraft, Unit 8A Avenger Cannon. Calling it a gun feels disrespectful, it's more like a portable tank apocalypse machine. This seven-barrel rotary cannon doesn't go pew-pew. It goes burward a sound so iconic, it has its own fan base. It can fire 3,900 rounds per minute, which is fast enough to make popcorn jealous. Each round is roughly the size of a Coke bottle, but way less refreshing and way more explosive. When this thing fires, tanks have a very short window to rethink their life choices. The gun is so massive, the designers had to shift the landing gear off-center to squeeze it in, 
So yeah, if you see the A10 taxiing like it's got a flat tire, it's not drunk, it's just compensating for carrying the deadliest nose job in aviation history. The recoil from the cannon is so powerful that it could technically slow the plane down in midair. That's right, the gun kicks back so hard, it actually pushes the jet backward a tiny bit. Imagine punching someone so hard, you slide back across the floor. That's the kind of punch this gun throws. Smart design for tough missions. The A-10's wings are wide, straight, and built for real-world flying not runway fashion shows. Designed with a low-mounted cantilever structure and massive control surfaces, the aircraft remains incredibly stable even at low speeds and altitudes. The wings use a honeycomb internal structure that keeps them strong but light, kind of like a bee's dream gym. They're easy to patch in the field, too no need for a fancy hanger. Just give a mechanic a wrench and maybe a sandwich, and it's good to go. Old Hog, New Tricks By the early 2000s, the War Thog got a serious facelift. The precision engagement upgrade turned it into the A-10C, a more modern beast equipped with digital avionics, high-resolution displays, and the ability to launch smart bombs. Think of it as upgrading from a flip phone to a smartphone only this phone can obliterate a tank. The cockpit was redesigned using features from top-tier fighter jets like the F-15 and F-16, making pilots feel right at home. And let's not forget the new wings from Boeing under the Tusk program, which extended the plane's life into the 2030s. Engineered for the apocalypse. Even the engines got the royal treatment. Mounted high and in the back to avoid sucking in dirt and rocks, the TF-34 turbofan engines allow the A-10 to operate from rough forward bases. With a high bypass ratio, they are quieter and cooler, helping the plane avoid infrared missile locks. It's like giving a bear the stealth of a ninja. Oh, and the engines can keep running during repairs and rearming like a soldier loading their weapon while still eating lunch. It can fuel up like a champ and survive on fumes. The A-10's fuel system is genius. Its four main tanks are tucked safely inside the fuselage, like putting your valuables in a safe instead of the glove box. The fuel lines are self-sealing, and if one tank gets blown apart, valves stop the rest from leaking. There's even foam in the tanks to soak up shrapnel, like bubble wrap for jet fuel. And if things get truly desperate, the Warthog has two backup tanks that can fly the plane up to 230 miles. That's basically an escape plan with wings. Still the king of close air support. Despite efforts to retire it, the A-10 keeps proving it's irreplaceable. Congress paused decommission plans, the military kept upgrading it, and pilots swear by it. Why? Because nothing else combines its durability, firepower, and battlefield effectiveness. The F-35 might be a stealthy marvel, but it won't loiter over a battlefield all afternoon protecting troops like the A-10 will. This plane does not just fly it sticks around, watches your back, and roars when you need help. It's the loyal hound of the skies, armored to the teeth, and too stubborn to quit. If you enjoyed this flight through the A-10's epic evolution, don't just buzz off smash that like button. Subscribe for more high-powered stories where history meets horsepower and jets refuse to retire gracefully. Got thoughts or wild A-10 facts? Drop them in the comments, we read every word, even the ones in all caps. And remember, around here, we don't just watch legends, we fly with them.